Hello, good morning. How are you? Really morning. well, thank you. You okay? How are you doing? Good to see you. So nice to see you too. Yes. Thank you for having me here. Honestly, it's really, really special and great to, great to see you again in person. No, likewise, likewise. Here we go. <laughs> Absolutely, Let's yeah, go. I'm in your hands. <laughs> great. It's so lovely to have a, a chat with you and I know how passionate you are about mental health and you've gone on your own journey haven't you around yeah so discovering what it is what it is yeah, exactly I mean, and how we can support not only ourselves but each other as well well that's it i kind of have got into this world in a way that no one really should do and i wish i wasn't associated with the word suicide and yeah. unfortunately that word will follow me around for a long time the thing that happened to me in, in losing my best mate to suicide and and losing someone that you're with every single day. I felt like what someone had told me a suicidal person looked like. Yeah. Like what someone that was suffering yeah. looked like. You were sort of preconceived sort yeah. of ideas like, around that. It yeah. was like, it was as if someone handed me a paper and said, by the way, everything you thought is a lie. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you need to go and tell people that. And you had this overwhelming sense of like, oh my God, like we need to talk about it. Yeah. And what I found was I ended up not kind of talking to people about suicide and not talking to people about oh this is how you make your mental health better mm. i started talking to people about friendship yeah and genuinely that's the thing that will save lives you know this is what always fascinates me boys and, and guys especially we're so quick to tell one another you know oh you should be doing this in the gym but when it comes to therapy or having certain chats everyone shies away from it. Exactly. And so it, everyone cares about it and takes a lot of time over their physical health. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, find yeah. it much harder to not only talk about their mental health, but mm. actually understand ways in which we can also look after it. 100%. But I loved your documentary, Our Silent Emergency, and the conversations that you had with lots of the individuals there. And the fact that relationships comes out so strongly yeah. through that is really powerful. And do you feel you learnt things in the documentary you made and the journey you've gone on? Do you feel your views around mental health and suicide have changed? It's made me realise that, OK, if we really want to make a difference here, we're going to have to go younger. That's why I think the work that you're doing is, is fantastic, because really that, that's who we need to be targeting. So, obviously, you know, you're, you're working a lot around early childhood. What exactly does that mean? Early childhood and there's lots of different ways to talk about it, but for us really it's from pregnancy to the age of five. Because okay. it's when our brain's growing the fastest, it's at its most malleable, yeah. so it's really such a critical time to lay the foundations for our future adult selves really. It's a bit like building a house and without strong foundations, without this sort of solid um, start in life, then those building blocks are much harder to, to yeah. build later on in life. I suppose for kids that, that haven't had that chance and that opportunity to have a great childhood, it must be even more important, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, it, you know, it's really important to stress that we can't take a fatalistic yeah. outlook on this either. You know, for those who haven't had happy childhoods, they can still go on to happy, healthy lives yeah. with the right support and the right interventions as well. Yeah, it's tough to think that not enough is done about it. I mean, I suppose for yourself as a mother, was this something that you wanted to learn for you as, as well as like putting it out there? Yeah, absolutely. And the key things that I, you sort of I've come away with and what I've learned the most is, mm. and which is what the science says really, is that the importance of having healthy and strong relationships in a child's life is really critical. Having a nurturing environment and having experiences in which a child can really understand and discover not only themselves but also the world in which they live. Mm. You know, these are the key things that we should really be focusing on and early charter because they set us up for so many things later on in life. Yeah, I guess it makes who we are. Yeah, exactly. So the campaign shaping us. You've just launched it. I mean, for those that don't know what it is, how would you describe it? What is it that you want to achieve? I suppose fundamentally we're trying to raise the importance of early childhood mm. and why it matters so much mm. for our future lives. This is sort of a fundamental sort of part of who we are. But it's trying to unpack it too. I suppose the claymation film, mm. there's a, a huge amount of science and information in there as well. So we try to break it down into mm. bite-sized videos that are hopefully accessible for everyone to learn a bit more about what matters and why it matters as well. This isn't just about raising kids. It's yeah. about shaping our futures yeah. and shaping not only the adults we become, but shaping our society, creating a happier, healthier, more nurturing world for us all to live in. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> That's the dream. Yeah. 
I'd love to hear a little bit mm. about your your childhood and what was it like. Genuinely, I, I, I always say that the best part of my life is my family. And it has shaped who I am, 100%. Yeah. But again, it, it's so difficult. I mean, all you have to do is, is look around, especially, you know, at the country and see people are not just struggling with raising kids, they're struggling with just putting a roof above their heads to, to be able to heat their house. Yeah. So all of those things can come into play. Yeah, absolutely. And this is the thing is that every family is different. Yeah. And, you know, the pressures that we all face are different. Mm. Whilst raising the importance of early childhood, this isn't about putting extra yeah. pressure on families. It's actually saying they need the support and the help. Reprioritising. Yeah family life, home life, and all that it takes really in, in raising children today, because it is tough. The relationships in a family or that's surrounding a child mm. is so important. The environment in which you bring up a child mm. is as important as well as the experiences that you engage them with. It's not about the number of toys that they've got or yeah. the number of sort of trips that you go on with them. It's just making sure they have got the right emotional support around them. And that comes yeah. from the adults in their lives. I've been very loved throughout my life uh, and that's a privilege yeah. to be able to say that but to make it a normality would be nice yeah. and love goes a long way yes it's <laughs> very true well, well Roman thank you so much it's been great to have a chat really inspiring to hear you talk not only about your work but your vision too for, for where you want to look next and what you want to try and achieve any time it's, it's, it's a great topic and it's it's one that needs to be talked about yeah and it's great to share our shared mission precisely to support kids from the earliest point we can